What's up, everybody? Thanks for coming back to my channel. I got a bone to pick with Tim Pool real quick. This is going to be a short, quick video. I wasn't even going to make it, but I listen. I'm a big fan of Tim Pool. I think he does a great job bringing truth and facts and common sense and logic, which is what my whole channel is about. Tim does a great job of bringing that stuff to the forefront. However, lately with this whole election thing, I feel like Tim's been so wishy-washy and I'm convinced that something on a scale this big could happen. Let me slow it down here. I'm getting ahead of myself. Before I get started, as you guys know, just getting started out here on YouTube. Goal of 100 subscribers by Christmas. You guys can help me do it. Hit the subscribe button. If you like what I have to say, hit the like button. Share the video. Turn the notification bell on. I got some awesome subscribers right now. They leave great comments. Keep me motivated. I love the little community I've built so far. It's, it's great. I'm having a great time doing this. Just trying to grow my channel to get this information out there to you guys. All right. Tim Pool, like I said, I'm a big fan. I've been watching Tim for a while. He actually changed my mind about a lot of things. I grew up around a Democratic people. You know, I grew up, my family's all Democrats in the Democratic Party. Um, I was kind of neither here nor there. And I'm still, I'm not, I wouldn't say I'm a conservative Republican. I'm definitely not a liberal Democrat or any of that. I'm just common sense. Like, and I listen when Tim says, that the left and the Democrats and the progressives and the liberals have completely lost the plot. I 100% agree with them, and I use that same statement in quite a bit of my videos. However, and I see a lot of the comments in Tim's videos that flip flop in, you know, and he can't, you know, now he says, it, it's crazy. It, it, and listen, I feel like lately Tim kind of has been flip flopping, and I understand that he didn't want to come right out and say, okay, this was clearly. You know, there was clearly something wonky going on here. He said, okay, well, let's see the evidence, you know. I don't, you know, Trump's got a chance of winning that's about like winning the lottery. All these things like that, Tim saying, and now, now that more and more evidence is starting to come out, Tim's starting to change his tune a little bit. And, and I understand that. You need to see evidence to make these kind of decisions on something of this scale, too. I, I agree. I completely agree. But, Tim. Is it that far-fetched to think that these people, and listen, I'm not saying one way or another. I'm listening to the evidence. I'm not making any of these videos that say this, that, and third. I'm waiting for the evidence to come out, and I'm hearing it. I have my opinion. 100% have my opinion already. And if you go listen to Steven Crowder, Mug Club, he lays all this stuff out perfectly. He has no doubt in his mind. Not a single doubt in his mind. And I agree 100% with Steven Crowder. He had a great mug club today where he laid out all kinds of crazy things. And him and his crew there that they got on the mug club, they're some smart guys. And they do some digging. There's some real journalism in there. Those guys do some digging. They do their research before they come out with these. You know, they don't come out and just claim something without being able to back it up. And that's why I like Steven Crowder. I like him a lot. So, then you got... On the far end, you got Tim Pool, who's like, "Oh, I don't know. I don't see this happening on a massive scale, and having it a conspiracy, and this and that." And, and Ben Shapiro has kind of been the same way lately. I, I like to listen to Ben Shapiro too. He's kind of the same way. Um, kind of wishy-washy on this whole like central conspiracy of this massive uh, fraud. <sighs> Let me just. I got to say a couple things real quick. Like I said, I don't want to drag this out and make it too long. And I'm a fan of Tim Pool. I think Tim Pool's great. He does an awesome job. He's very informative. Like I said, comes out with, you know, truth and facts. It lays it out. Changed my mind about a lot of things. Tim, Ben, Shapiro, why is it so hard for you guys to believe that these people, you now both Ben Shapiro and Tim Pool have been reporting on this for the past year or longer, about how the Democrats have Trump derangement syndrome so bad, these people hate Trump. They hate this guy. These people look at Trump and they they will do anything in their power to get him out of office because they look at him like some kind of Nazi, like Hitler, or some kind of crazy. I mean, you see it like that's the new N word. He's a Nazi. New N-words, Nazi, you see it, 
used in Twitter, all over Twitter by these liberals and these Democrats and these left wing crazy people. Um, but they're all saying Trump's a Nazi, Trump's a fascist. If you think somebody is that like, to call somebody that, you must think they're the lowest form of human life possible. If that's what you think, why wouldn't these people do anything, anything in their power to get him out of that seat? These people have Trump derangement syndrome so bad, they hate Donald Trump with every fiber of their being. They think he's destroyed democracy. They think he's divided this country. They think he's calling for violence. They would do anything they could in their power to get him out. And if it's something like trying to rig some, you know, rig the presidential election, of course they would do it. Of course. And let me, and if, Tim, if you think like, well, that's an awful big conspiracy to get that many people involved. Well, no, 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 it's not. First of all, we all, the whole Russia collusion thing, that was made up out of thin air. You get all these super powerful people. You got Obama and Hillary Clinton and Sleepy Joe and, you know, the FBI and the whoever else is involved. They made this up out of thin air. That went deep to some powerful people and they made it up out of thin air. And it was just to just get Trump out of office. That's it. That's it. That in itself is super scary. That in itself shows you these people will do anything to try to get rid of Trump. Next up, you all remember this human piece of absolute garbage. Um, this guy is just the lowest form of trash there is. Look what happened to him. Hmm? A group of very powerful people. It wasn't just one person that made all this happen. It was a group of very powerful people to make something like this happen. And listen, they can say that he did what I'm not going to, I don't want to get too far into YouTube saying anything here because I'm just starting out. I want to get rid of me already. I got a lot to talk about. I got a lot I want to bring to you guys. Saying this guy did what he did to himself, it has been proven by the medical examiners. Michael Bad, one of the best medical examiners ever to live, said, nope, it's not. Not possible. His injuries aren't consistent. He got someone was in there and gave him a quick tune up and cashed him out. That happened. Okay? So we all know. So they gave us the narrative of this is what happened to him in his cell. All the cameras broke. The guards were asleep. Everybody bought a hook, line, and sinker. That was it. Okay, well, that's what you say. We'll go with it. I don't think there's a single person in this country or even on this planet that believes that happened. Everybody knows it knows what happened. Not exactly, but everybody knows what happened. But that's what they told us. That was the narrative. So we all believe it. We all roll with it. Okay, well, let's, we're not going to ask any questions. Is it because he's a piece of trash and doesn't deserve to be here? Could be. Is it because nobody wants to start looking at somebody that powerful and dangerous? Could be. But we all accepted it. So people, very powerful people can get together and come up with some very, like, the, the worst thing you can do is end someone's life, right? They did it. And listen, I could go on and on and on with more examples. But the two recent huge things that happened that were complete cover-ups, if you want to call them conspiracies, whatever, um, the Russian thing, because they hated Trump so bad, and the other scum of the earth that I just showed you, um, that didn't have anything to do with Trump, but that was another powerful group of people that had to get something done, but the ultimate thing done, and they did it. So, Tim, you're making it sound like it's absolutely like one in a trillion zillion chance of a group of people coming together trying to rig this to you know, to get Trump out of there. I mean, that's not even far-fetched at all. Listen, the second thing started getting wonky, in my head, I was like, yep, they went and did it. I mean, they stuck, they're the ones that were calling for all the mail-in ballots. Nobody, they weren't, no Republicans weren't calling for that. They didn't, listen, some people say this has been in plans for a long time, and this kind of goes hand-in-hand -hand with the, uh, with the Crowley, with the Crowley virus. Um, 
I just don't understand, Tim. How I don't understand how it's so hard for you to grasp the fact that people hate this guy so much. They look at him like he's this evil dictator destroying our country and getting rid of freedom and democracy. They would do anything in their power. Oh, and I have proof. Stand by. 2020 is a political revolution. I am going to do everything morally acceptable to win. I will lie, I will cheat, I will steal because that's morally acceptable in this <laughs> political environment. This is Chris Jacks from Our Revolution, a radical left 501c4 organization bent on creating a quote, political revolution in the United States. Jacks represents the Democratic Party here in Colorado. And Jack says a Biden administration will be used to advance his political objectives or else there will be violence. Okay, now that's super scary. But anyway, my point was, so that was James O'Keefe and Project Veritas. He goes undercover, has people go undercover and catch these people saying these crazy things. And that's not the only Democrat that James O'Keefe has had on that says similar things like that. These people say... They will lie, they will cheat, they will steal, they will do whatever they can. They believe Trump is so morally bankrupt that they think that, that if they get down on that level and play these games, that, that, that the level Trump, they think Trump is on and play the same games, that, that's okay. They've got no moral compass anymore. They're going to do what it takes. And they've, there's so many examples of it out there. There's so many examples of these people doing the most disgusting things for the sole purpose of getting rid of Trump. So it's not far-fetched at all to believe that this is some kind of massive, something on a massive scale that we can't even comprehend yet until everything starts to come out. Now that everything is coming out, I think Tim's starting to see, well, yeah, now there is, uh, you know, this is going on and that is going on and all these inaccuracies and... So he's starting to see, and I get it, you got to wait for the evidence, but right from the get-go, I would have thought Tim would be like, yeah, these people obviously are deranged. They got drunk derangement syndrome. So it's not far-fetched. Like, let's see what kind of evidence they have. But yeah, they absolutely wouldn't. He, probably if they can prove it, the election is going to get flipped around. And so far, that it seems like they're doing a pretty good job. Um, there's some scary things coming out. I don't know if you guys heard, but there was some kind of... I don't know. I don't want to get too deep into it because I don't know how true it is. But there's some kind of shootout in Germany when some special forces team from the U.S. went to Germany to get the servers, the Dominion servers or something that had to do with the ballots, and the CIA was there protecting them, and so I, I don't know I don't know much about that story, but it's kind of crazy. Um, I just wanted to say, just hearing Tim, and like I said, he's getting better now, but it's just him saying, well, it just doesn't, I don't believe it. Well, yeah, I believed it the second you got a whiff of it. Well, listen to Steve Crowder. He, like I said, it's not far-fetched. Look at the examples I just brought you. Like, if you can look at those things and say, well, yeah, these people obviously will go to any length to get what they want. Why is something like this any different? That's it. I'm going to leave it there. Just my thoughts. Huge Tim Pool fan. No disrespect at all. It's just bizarre to me that Tim, and like I said, even Ben Shapiro, are having a hard time like grasping some kind of conspiracy or some kind of um, wrongdoing by the you know, by the left um, on this magnitude, something of this scale, when you look at the things they've already done, like the things they've already done, it's almost, you can't get worse than that. So we'll see where it goes. Huge fan of Temple. Still going to watch him. I just, I don't know why he can't see. I don't know why he couldn't see it for the past month that these people are capable of absolutely anything for that power grab. That's it. It's late. I'm tired. I'm going to bed. Like I said, hit the subscribe button. Help me hit my goal of 100 subscribers by Christmas. Appreciate each and every one of you. The world's gone crazy, guys. Take care of yourselves. Take care of your neighbors. Just be kind to each other. Be a good person, and you're going to have a pretty good life. Peace.